Hey guys, welcome to my movie review on Fantastic Beasts and the Secrets of Dumbledore. Ugh. So Fantastic Beasts and the Secrets of Dumbledore is the third of the Fantastic Beasts trilogy, the new installment of the Wizarding World saga, including with Harry Potter. And uh, basically Grindelwald was like pulling hatred or something and like tries to ha start a war with the Muggles. And uh, Dumbledore offers the whole recruit wizard gang back together with uh, Newt's commander, uh, uh, Jacob Kowalski, you know, like all the others. Like, yeah, like all those ones. And uh, and he, they have to, like, stop Grindelwald and have that be all done. And, yeah, you know, once again, stars Eddie Red Remain, uh, Jude Law, you, you probably know the entire cast. And yes, yeah, now the person who's doing uh, Grindelwald is uh, Mad Milkison. And uh, here's what I'll give you with my thoughts on this movie. Um, this movie, I like. I liked it a lot. Like, this movie was likable. Like, it was actually more better than Grindelwald. Crimes of Grindelwald. But trust me, Crimes of Grindelwald, it's not a bad movie. It was just an alright film. But it was still a pretty likable movie. That's what I can give you for my thoughts. And uh, mostly... Uh, Everything is just mostly, like, an enjoyable film. I wouldn't say it's, like, best film of the year. It's not, like, the best Wizarding World mo wizard, wizard film of Harry Potter saga. Like, it's not going to be the best Harry Potter movie, because I still count the Fantastic Beast trilogy with the Harry Potter saga. Well, here's this. I know. They're both different film. All, the Harry Potter saga, Fantastic Beast trilogy, I know. They're different films and stuff. I get that, but I'm still counting as the Fantastic Beasts, the prequel trilogy that leads up to the Harry Potter saga, all right? So, for all the ones who think that's, like, they're separate, I mean, don't judge me on it. I, I can give my thoughts out, all right? So, uh, yeah, Fantastic Beasts 3, I mean, this one was, like, enjoyable, but with Matt Milkison, with my thoughts as Grindelwald, he's actually very good as Grindelwald, like, he could be my favorite one. That's what I can give you. I mean, I don't mind Colin Farrell as Grindelwald. Johnny Depp plays a pretty good Grindelwald. And uh, Matt Milkison actually plays a very good Grindelwald. So, uh, for Secrets of Dumbledore, I'm just going to probably put with this. Like, I enjoy the visual effects. The fight scenes with... Uh, yeah, you've probably seen the trailers with uh, Dumbledore and Grindelwald fighting and the whole, like... Maybe wizard, wizard like wand shootout, like they were just all enjoyable. And yeah, you still see those creatures. Uh, Newt's commander has, and you know all those creatures like you see in uh, Where to Find Them and Grindelwald, Crimes of Grindelwald. Those like weird ones, and they're all they're always like interesting to watch and stuff. Like I do like the visual effects and the CGI. So. Uh, and with Jude Law as Dumbledore, I do enjoy him as Dumbledore, as a young version of Dumbledore. And, uh, I do enjoy all the other characters. Like, probably my favorite, like, sidekick will probably be Jacob Kowalski, because he always, like, has some good, funny humor out of it all. And, uh, Everything else was just fun to watch. Like, I could just say it's just mostly a likable Harry Potter film, Harry Potter saga film to watch. So, uh, yeah. That's my thoughts on that. And I enjoyed the screenplay story, the CGI, the cinematography was all right. The score music was pretty good. Yeah, you still see Hogwarts. Yeah, I do enjoy seeing that on, t on screen. And uh, I do enjoy the whole, like, directing and stuff. I mean, David Yachts, I don't think he's a terrible director. I mean, he just did very, he just, he did pretty well with this one. All right. So uh, I'm, I'm going to just say it's uh, Fantastic Beasts, Cr Secrets of Dumbledore. It's an enjoyable movie. It's probably worth a good time to watch. I mean, you don't have to see this in theaters if you like. But, uh, yeah, I really had fun time with this film and... Uh, it's worth watching and worth buying on Blu-ray, 4K, or DVD, but hold on. <coughs> Sorry for that sneeze there, and uh, that's going to probably be all I have, so I'm going to give it mostly a 7 out of 10 and a B plus. 
because mostly with the negative stuff I could probably criticize, I mostly kind of felt like it was just like a lot of stuff me I kind of got bored with, but there was just more and there was kind of like less credence battles and that was kind of a little tiny letdown but it's still a good movie so i do enjoy it so yeah once again i'll get fantastic beast and the secrets of dumbledore a 7 out of 10 and a b plus so that is all i got leave a like comment and subscribe and follow on my instagram page see ya bye